Warning. What you are about to hear goes against traditional romantic counsel expressed by friends, family, and Instagram memes and quotes. Open-mindedness is advised. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, people of all ages, and welcome to another edition of the Senate Sessions. This is, you know, a little longer form content than the shorts, but a little shorter content than the lives. This is the in-between when the guys got scheduling conflicts, other things to do, and we can't make the live stream, so we set homework for y'all to kind of watch and observe, uh, absor absorb and uh, comment and talk about, discuss about yourselves. Um, I'm your host, Neil. Join us all. my brother from another mother. And your host, Derek. Yeah. And we are the Senate Podcast. Remember to like, comment, share, subscribe. Hit notification bell so you don't miss anything. Most important words I just said is share. Share the content. Hit notification bell. Do all them nice social media etiquette things. And let's build this community. Anyhow, my brother, you're doing this thing. Um, you know, yeah. it's a Kendra G. I know it's a Kendra G, but I've never watched this one. So, hey, what's up? Yeah, man, this lady, as always, she calls into Kendra G. They, they always call into Kendra G show and they want to have Kendra G source a man. And normally these men are, you know, the usual six figures, six feet tall, six abs kind of thing. But this one just a little bit different. So let me g g give her a watch. Uh, she's up there. Uh, let me not preface it anymore. Let me have a watch of this one. Hello, who is this? Can you see me? Oh, I made it. Hi, Kendra. Hi, girl, what's your name? Hi. Uh, Zarina. Zarina, where are you calling us from, boo? I am from Los Angeles, California, but I'm calling from Texas. Okay, where do you live? I live in Arlington, Texas. Texas. How old are you? I'm 37. So Zarina 37. in the crank. What you do for a living? Zarina 37 kills. years old. I'm property management. Zarina kills is her property name. Property management. Her. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Uh, like, that's a red flag already. <laughs> you have any kids? You look beautiful, by the way. I do. You do. How, how many kids? I have two sons. How old are your sons? A three-year-old and a 17-year-old. Same dad? No. How, why are you not with the three-year-old dad? Um, He chose other things to love besides me. Aw. Yeah, for the time you heard the disparity in ages, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah he was ways. great. I mean, for the record, he was he was great. It was great. That. Okay, do y'all co-parent well? Yeah, I think so. Peacefully okay. and cordially, yeah. Pe peacefully and cordially. Mm -hmm. This is Arena LA, um, but from LA, lives in Arlington, Texas. Mm -hmm. 37, a property manager, two children. I right, boo, so what kind of man are you looking for? <sighs> oh my goodness, kid, I feel like, okay. Here we go, this is gonna get interesting. Here we go. Because I'm nervous now, but I literally, <laughs> my kid in the background. So like, oh, so that's the baby in the background? <laughs> Okay, I promise. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, I need a man like Drake or better. Like Drake? Or better. Drake the rapper? Aubrey Drake Graham. Mm -hmm. Okay, so when you say like Drake, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna specify. Do you mean like Drake as in success? Do you mean as like Drake as an appearance? Or do you mean both? Both. So who was more successful? And looks better than Drake. Oh, that's a good question. That's a good question. I mean, because think about it. it. You said you want to. You, you said you want a man like Drake, or better. Or better. So, mm -hmm. so, it, so Drake is the actual the lowest bar because that's the lowest you'll go. Yes. And then so better. Now Drake is famous. So if there is a man that's better, we will know him. So let's think of it. It's dang. Like, that's a cool. Who is the person that is more successful than Drake and looks better than Drake? And those are the only options you are catering to. Oh, shucks. We're going to say G.O.D. then because. <laughs> I mean, I think about here's the thing, because that, that's why I said, how do you want? I mean, Drake is a multi. Drake is probably yeah. one of the most popular rappers. He, he will go down as all time as one of the most. For rappers, sure. Right? So when I think as success. In that field, you know, I, I, I'll give Kanye, I'll give Jay-Z. Um, Jay-Z's obviously married. 
Um, Kanye so is, Kanye, buddy, and I know Kanye in real life, and I love Kanye, and Kanye is Kanye. Yeah. Um, if, so are, are, is Kanye the person? If who, Kanye was was into black women, yes, for sure. And matter of so, fact, my baby daddy looked like a better Kanye to me. That's why I chose him. Ooh, you say your baby boy is like a better Kanye? Yes. Okay, and okay. That's why so, I chose him. <laughs> so is Kanye the only option then? Because you said either like Drake or better. Dang. Uh, Never thought no, about it, huh? No, that. But that, if I could reach out in the stars and put that in the universe and grab that, that's the that's the one I'm wishing on. That is the one. That is the one that I would want to land in my life. You know. But can I uh, just say this? You said okay. You said you left your baby daddy because he chose to love other things other than you, right? Yeah. So you do know the guy that's like Drake or better is going to be something on a whole different level than what your baby daddy did, right? Yes. So you're willing to, so that means now you're willing to accept it. I think I could accept that. If I can't have Drake, I'll, you know, I'll still, you know, swim around. But geez, like if I had a gold man to have, I'm, if I could manifest any partner, ask for any partner, it would be him. Well, why did you leave your baby pause, daddy pause, for other pause, women, pause, but you'll deal pause. with it with somebody else? She had me on manifest. It took me four minutes and 18 seconds for her to tell me and get me to pause this video. No. She's so intriguing, isn't she? I mean, she's fascinating. No, first is first of all, we got to say she's a very attractive uh, lady. You know, she looks. Well, and she's she a good looking woman. Yeah, she's a good looking woman. Yeah. Right? Uh, she's speaking rather well. You know, um, the two children, 17 and three. You know, yeah. as you said, tells you everything you need to know about her dating history. Um, well, not everything you need to know about your dating, her dating history, but about her father's or rather, you know. Father's of her children. Right. My girl came in with, now we've heard many things on this show when it comes to standards. Indeed. Right? <laughs> but my girl is being intentional with it. My woman is saying, I want Drake or better. Or better. What was Drake? Um, net worth. <laughs> but Ella, we thought Ella was bad when Ella called for three fifty thousand, right? So what's Drake net worth there? You know, you guys got these things close to high, you know. Ella? Watch it. Drake net worth. <laughs> shoot, Drake net worth twenty twenty two, just for shits and giggles, right? Yeah, he's worth around forty nine million. This says, uh, that's Purnell yeah. University. Let's go down here. So and, unless, oh no, see, as of January twenty three, twenty three. A zero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two hundred and fifty million dollars. Right. Uh, sounds about right now. Two hundred and fifty million dollars. Um, I sure we could go on. Uh, there's another uh, boss net worth, boss net worth. Sorry, dot com. They say three hundred million. Um, so yeah, Drake is oh five foot eleven Not and three quarter inches. So anywhere between two hundred and three hundred million. <clears throat> yeah. yeah, that is nearly six feet tall. Yeah. I like suppose skin. he's a good looking guy. Light skinned. Light skinned. Light skinned dude. Team light skinned. Steph Curry and Devin Booker and their guys. I'll yeah. be sure. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, and she wants this guy. Or better. Or better. And and Kedra, she quite really asked the question who's better? Because if you can if you can find a man that is worth more than $250 million. But I think it's the total package, though. I think when she says better, dre or better, I don't think she necessarily wants a man that makes $250 million. Mm -hmm. But millions of dollars bill is a plus. It's, it's, it's required, right? right? you got to look good. Seems like you got to be famous. And um, you got to be at least 5'11 and 3 quarter inches. Yeah. And, but, but, you know, Neil, we talk about it all the time. Ain't that wrong when you want thing you want? No, in this instant, there's a problem. <laughs> in this, in this instant, there's a problem. There's nothing wrong. There, there's nothing wrong with you wanting a man that is tall. There's nothing wrong with you wanting a man that's attractive. There's nothing wrong with you wanting a man that makes a lot of money. There's nothing wrong with a man with you wanting a man that even um is popular, right? <laughs> Sweetheart, you, you just walk out and find it. <clears throat> you must be making saying, DM stink. And you think it's only you that trying to 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 think? Well, no, no, you bring that up. You know, Neil, let, let's press on a little further here. Here, what else? This, this, this can get wild. Like this, this lady right. has to say. All right. Very well. What if I do? A, wait, one more time. I'm sorry. You know, if you deal with a Drake or a Kanye, you're, you're, you're sharing him with multiple women. 
that and that is uh, that you know it's I feel both what two ways about it. I feel so weird about that situation because it's like if I could love him as much as I know that I could love a man, I could love him enough to give him passes, especially appropriate passes if it makes sense. Um, well, why don't you give your your child's father the same grace? He was cheated with his ex wife for 10 years. I'm like, if that's what Break you- Break my tree with an ex-girlfriend. And I'm not Kanye my tree Let's with an ex-wife. Like, if I think cheating is for me- What you just said? Uh, what? <laughs> no, 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 Derek. She just said the mom was doing what? <laughs> you cheated. <laughs> it's ex-wife. <laughs> what is the thing? Right? Here's the thing. Fellas, it is incumbent upon you to become successful. Now, she was vexed because one of the fathers of her children was cheating on her with his, his ex-wife, right? Ex-wife, wife, whatever it was. But she's willing to give Dre a pass, right? She's willing to give Dre a pass you know, a shared rate with other women. Why do we think that is, Neil? Because, because, in, as we say in Barbados, her child father, as we say in Barbados as well, he was brat. Dre is not. He's <laughs> so not. The only difference between these men, though, that we know about, Dre is rich. Child father, brat. Right. Because, rich man, get a pass. Because what, Dre? Right? <clears throat> because, as I often say, right? Money can't buy happiness. But I feel all right crying in a Bugatti. Indeed. Indeed. In front of my, in front of my 10, 000, $10 million mansion, um, in my million dollar, you know, watch Richard Millet. Richard Millet, sorry. But yeah. Yeah. Um, as well. Anyhow, um, <laughs> I, I like how, you know what I like about this, just before we continue? I like how my girl waffling from the, um, the sherry. My girl's like, I'm torn she, between it. No, you, you I mean, no, no, sweetheart. Yeah, this Drake. You're not torn. This Drake. You, yeah. <laughs> you got to take them horns. Them horns come yeah. in fast and furious like Vin Diesel, Vin Diesel and The Rock. Yeah, yeah. You know what's going on there. I Here's the thing. You are willing to accept it because Drake got money. Fellas, if you're Brett, you can't call these shots. Yeah, you cannot. Right? You cannot. And this goes back to, rest in peace to the Godfather. He did say high value men have options. They exercise their options. They don't cheat. Yeah, because they know that the women want that financial security. So a lot of women watching may say, "Oh, I want the match, you know me, this and that, and next and third. But you want man's make six figures when the year comes. So I just let you know, right? You want them things to go deal with. There's a casualty right? of war because you have to compete, and sometimes you may be lagging in the race. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> a terrible thing to say, but hey, man, we we don't make any rules, as Derek said. We just showing you how the game is played. Yeah, man. We ain't, we ain't saying there's a utopia. <laughs> But this is what the the turn. Turn. Until it's I'm. I feel like I'm such a strong-minded woman that cheating is not the worst that you could do in a relationship. That could be easily forgiven. That could be looked past. Cheating is not the worst that a man can do to a woman. But I feel like outside of, of, of cheating, there's men that are going to be... They, look, I've had men treat me like a freaking queen and the treatment outweighed the cheating. Even though the cheating is still a problem, you know, it's just... I will be able to accept... Yeah, I could accept it and I would cheat with him. <laughs> like, I mean, if that's my man, I'm gonna cheat with you then. Okay. And I'm not even gay, and I don't even be that in a gay way. I'm not, I'm no homo, ladies. I don't like to, too, but it's like I would at least want to share the experiences with my lover if we're that deep. Well, listen, you're a beautiful girl, so um, I, I could tell you probably date a certain type of guy. So, are you used to dating men that make a certain amount of money? I am. Okay, and what comes along with those men? Oh. Accepting the position as the third, fifth, tenth female sometimes. That is sometimes the worst. Oh, you're wrong. Not being able to, you know. So why did you, did, did you end those relationships because of those things? Not at all. Not at all. Okay. So, okay. It is fair to say you're Drop okay rotation, with bro. this rich man because I'm a, when you say Drake, who's the most successful rapper, people would say that. This man that's super successful, has a lot of money. You're okay with him having other women as long as you get queen treatment. Yeah, honestly, I'm okay with um, a whole lot of things that are happening in the young living life of relationships. As long as I have the opportunity, if I could have the opportunity to grow old with somebody, it'd be him. Like, all right, when the fame is done and shit, that's the person I could probably say, like, yeah, I would really choose up with him without the fame. If all that shit died down, if he went broke, I feel like I could still be down 
For, well, that person exists. Let's take a pause, Neil. Pop, 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 pause. This woman, wait, wait. Hey. It's, it's, not, it's not your face. Go this ahead. This woman just said that she won't love this man even if it brought it. Don't matter. That what she just said? Yeah. But come on, now. Wait, wait, wait. Come on. Wait, now. Come wait, on. Now. Wait, now. Wait, now. So you want a man on Drake level because we cannot ignore Drake's um, financial can't. Or not, Don't or care how you spit it. <laughs> you cannot ignore Drake, buddy. If I said I want a woman on Eva Mendez level, like my entry level to a woman, if a woman want to get me Neil Hoyt, she got to be Eva Mendez level. What is part of that? She got money. She got fame. She looked good as ass. Right? So you can't dipsy doodle that. Right? You trying to get people to believe Zarina. That if Drake was to suddenly fall off the map, she ain't want that duty. And the man ain't got the money. The man brought destitute. IRS come and claim everything. Or whatever cut with the Canadian version of IRS or whatever. Take with all the man assets. Right? Some money around him. All the assets and money around him. Take with all of them. Right? You try to get me to believe that you go hold down Drake because he look good. <laughs> You don't know if Drake is a good man, you know. You, you have no idea what character traits this man has, other than what is shown in the public. You don't know if this man is emotionally attentive. You don't know if this man is a narcissist. You don't know anything about Drake. Right? But this is the thing, it's documented that Drake invites women to parties and then does not acknowledge them. He invites them for the people at his parties. Yeah. Not for him. Right. It's also documented that he put uh, pepper sauce in the condom. I, I just... I, I... That too is documented. I legit be bad here because how 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 you how you slicing this, my girl? How you how you slicing this? Like you trying to convince me that if Drake was Brett, you would take me on. Am I better than Drake Brett? Who's better than Drake? I don't know. Let's say Jeff. I don't know. Billionaire. Who's a billionaire? Let's say Will Jay-Z. Smith. Jay-Z. Will Smith. Let's say that man that you on. That man become Brett. Shoot. I even promise you that if you were what do you woman name? No, you might stay though, Jada. You might stay if it was Jada. If it was Jada, you would stay. You, you got that club. By just saying, that, let me not fool me for here, sister. Let me not fool me for here, sister. If Drake was busted, I ain't talking about he fall off and he got money stashed. I talk about the man break. Like they got a man that is Drake, but he got to work a blue collar job. You gonna try to tell me that you can take on this man? That we really that you coming here to say no? But here's the thing, Neil. The mere fact that you went to Drake or better, you went to Drake because guess what? You know Drake. You read you don't even have to read their production credits to know that he got enough money and who you know who he is. You know he is well off. That is where you are interested. That's part you of the allure. Like, well, that's part of it. You also say, well, yeah, I, I just want a dude around the corner here, wrong, wrong from me. Bigger amount of Izzo. That what you say. <laughs> No looking for the boy so if you the time you're just looking for a nice guy that you know got a stable job or something like that if you are saying you're looking for a man met six figures and it was an arbitrary man no I, I can ha- I can halfway be that but if I went to Drake who is a known multi-millionaire you can't I, tell me no that you want somebody that ain't got that kind of money but yeah. you see but you see it's safe to say that it's, it's safe to say that because Drake, Drake, Drake never that around the money. Of yeah, if he ain't around the money. Any man, any man that has Drake money or better, he ain't gonna in this I, life. I, I, I can't. Said, I, I he will go do saying. I don't even know what he can do. He will go buy like France. I don't know. He will go. I you know. <laughs> he will go buy like Dominica. I don't know what he would do. But don't fool the people. Don't fool the people. And the reason why he got worship for this, because even half, if you choose say she's averaging, I mean. Interested in a six-figure dude. You think, you think, you really in your heart of hearts think they ain't good-looking men out there that ain't got Drake money? Yeah. They got good-looking men out there. They got uh-huh. good-looking men out there. There are good men out there that's probably living in her neighborhood. That's probably, you know, work down the street from her, living in her apartment building. Probably look better than Drake. And those men are more accessible, easier to access than a Drake or a man better than him. You can come and tell me that if Drake was Brett. Hey, you both trade it, trade it, dipsy doodle it. You both club, you both money. Uh, 
Got all the trappings attached. Huh? I believe there's more in, in more foot, so let's get it. <laughs> the Drake without money, the broke Drake exists. For sure. I'm <laughs> not asking for him. You asking for Drake, the successful guy who's worth, let me see, how much money is Drake worth, child? Girl, how know. much money do a man got to make in order to date you? That man is, yeah, he's out there. Go but, check out. Shit, Go check I ain't it. worried about it. I'm living a good life without his money. I don't need his money. I just need him. You hear me? So, okay, so okay, doesn't yeah. okay, so let me rephrase the question. Does a man have to make a certain amount of money to date you? Yeah, more than me. And what is this? What is our what is our minimum? More than me at all times. I would like to say um I'm I'm very humble. I do not make more than a hundred thousand a year. I do not I'm like maybe fifty, fifty K a year. But I'm a single mother <laughs> of two, so oh, no it's excuse, it's but like it's pause the video. Yo, this woman don't say I'm a, I am a humble woman. She's humble. She's humble. She's humble. She's humble. And here's the thing, Neil. She made fifty thousand dollars a year. But what am I on Drake level? Like, Maybe hey. fifty thousand. She said. Maybe. What? What? Sorry, delusional. What is this? I thought Ella was the worst, but this woman here, <laughs> the woman here, Ella, a run for she money. How can you tell me? Right? You you come in with Drake now. You say I'm like Drake. You say I'm look like Drake. You come in with Drake or better. You did not specify. You put your cards on the table and Kendra asked you for for clarification. You say Drake. You know who's Drake? Drake. Aubrey Graham. Right? <laughs> you gonna tell me you want Malik Drake or or better, right? Ma must make money, must make more money than you. So why you went picking up a ma that's met sixty thousand dollars? They got the good looking man that met sixty thousand dollars. But let me, woman, you dipsy doodling. You humble. You want the clout. You want the fame. And you want the money. Don't dipsy doodle the man. Do not dipsy doodle the public. You dipsy doodle the Kendra G. And you, the, the image I got on screen, she ain't going for it neither. She just is not <laughs> yeah. buying what you're saying. Yeah, Kendra ain't buying out there. Yeah, Kendra is not buying that. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> I don't get it, you know, Neil. I truly don't get it. I well, I, I think I do. I think I do get it. I get it. <laughs> I I think somewhere along the line, people start to think, you know, uh, people got thing money and things, and they should just give me them. <laughs> you know, people, people should just give me the things that they work for. I ain't gonna work for nothing. I I should have to work for nothing. Whatever decisions this lady has made in her life, they've led her to making fifty thousand dollars a year. Fifty thousand dollars a year in the is above average in the US, right? Yeah, so Just they're, above they're average, both, average yeah, they're income both. is like forty two forty two thousand a year or something like that. They're right? they're both. They're both. So you made she says she makes about that. <clears throat> Thirty seven years old. All right, but it's still good looking enough, right? Black don't crap. Two children, two different dudes, right? But you want a man who has, until very recently, protected his seed, right? And then he may get to a stripper, but like they digress, right? So he protected his seed. They have any children, right? Dre is how old? Dre is, you gotta be nearing 40, my goat, 38. <laughs> Yeah. Let me see. Let me see. Yeah, let me see. Aubrey. How old is Aubrey Graham? Yeah. Um. Aubrey is. He born in yeah. He's thirty six. So oh, younger yeah, than he thirty. Talk. Yeah, thirty six years old. So he and this this lady in the same age bracket because she's thirty seven, right? <clears throat> so he told them in the same age bracket. You been told you had two children. One is seventeen. You thirty seven. So you had to try of twenty. Yeah. You adult big things. I know you got to try this three. His child it, it's, is not 10 years old yet. So he waited later in life to have a child. He was out there pursuing success and all that. And you think, right, that this one should just say, you know what? I can just ignore all the other ladies, all the other scattered asses. My man Martin <laughs> said it now. But I'm bad boys. All the other scattered asses scattered around ass here. Spots. <laughs> I can just ignore you. all of that. I come and take up you. Now, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Don't let me do it before we foot. 
Some men are a little what listen thing. Some men will hit it. Yeah. Some men will hit it. No doubt. I shoot even drip me hit it. Yeah. You're a fun girl. As far as they make us, you got children ready to so say, can't tell me that you're a fool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got no, no. Don't do that. Yep. Although, <laughs> although, <laughs> although, there was a lady who famously called it to Kevin Samuels talking with one. She she going celibate or something. Now nah, she was three seven with two children. Man, what about it? Was just, it was Zarina. Anyway. <laughs> nah, nah, it wasn't Zarina, but uh, I can see why you would make that mistake. <laughs> yeah, three seven with two children, you know what uh, I mean? Um, so you can't tell the man out that you're a fool. You already got the evidence of you for it. Right? Went on and one was fairly recent because it's three years ago. Yeah, and they don't see like it was ever married. You know what I mean? But you now want this dude to say, you know, let me take on these bills. Because you and your two children will be bills. Not that the man can't handle it. That's I not mean, the point. Yeah, but it's not, that's but not it's a point. bad investment. But it's a, it's bad, a bad investment. It's not even a... It's, it, I won't say it's a bad investment. Yes, it is a bad investment, but the word and terminology for Drake and better is there are better investments out there. Yeah. Far yeah. better bets out there. You, you can't come and say you're looking for a man on Drake level and this is how you're coming in. You, you can't. You don't make it. People are not. It ain't making the sense. But you know the delusion. Okay. Let's, let's, let's break it out like a fraction. Here's the delusion that's got me, right? Uh, okay. I understand. I understand um, you may not necessarily be talking about Drake. And this is just for women in general. You may not be talking about Drake specifically. You may want a man with a modest six-figure salary by the year come, right? <laughs> right? I love that. A modest six-figure right? salary. But you have to consider that with a man that is making so much money and looks good, he only look good to you, you know, sweet girl. He look good to other women. Other women that look better than you other women that got better temperament than you, other women that don't feel the same entitlement to you, and most importantly, a woman that don't got the children that you got and the baggage and history that you have that are younger than you. So, please sell yourself to Drake. Drake is you entry level now, and any man that's that level or above, sell yourself to Drake as a 37-year-old um, mother of, of, of two. I got a toddler. Who we talking about? Yeah, here? like next thing. So we talking about come though. I know you're gonna be looking at me like, let me draw off this little man at school or pick up this little man from school, and you know. And the way you talking, you talking as if shoot, if you break, I can still love here, and then you be still down. Meaning that you're looking for a real commitment, a a a a, a, a long lasting commitment, right? So really and truly, you want this man to look away from all the women you say without accept the cheating here and there, as if. Yeah, the mom might see a, a, a young girl or whatever. No, no, sweet but girl. I'm the price. Sweet girl, I'm you, the you are in the wrong. You, if Dre take you on, Dre take you on for one thing and one thing only. And that is the goo, the stomach. Exactly that. So, that's delusional to me. That is the equivalent of me as Neil Hoyt saying that I deserve somebody that looks like Beyonce are better. I deserve yeah. a uh, so no so so. I deserve a woman that is Beyonce or better, not look good like Beyonce or better. That is yeah. Beyonce or better. That has the fame, the clout, the um money, sex appeal, everything. everything. And she has to choose me. I'm my child. I'm my baggage. I'm my history. That we're looking for. Um, let me continue if I believe. There may be yeah. more value in here. I, 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 I don't know, but let, let's crack on and see how much more we can get out of Zarina here. I want a man to make at least what I make or better. Oh, okay, because Drake makes $260 million. So you're not, Ooh. you're just. No, I could deal with that. At so least were you, you, so you were just kind of, were you being funny when you said that? I just kind of rolled with it like you were being serious. No, no, I really want that man. I really want him. Yeah, no, that's. Why do you go from a man that makes $260 like a Let me pause million? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because here's the thing, right? She said she want a man, or at least on her level, or better. Hypergamy, we get it, right? We know how it's rolled. But it, no, no, this is the thing, right? Because it's so good to say certain things. We know you are a man on a higher level. We know this. We know this. I see like if Kendrick G leading 
towards that. I mean, this next set of question is she asking, right? Oh, it sounds good when we say marriage is a partnership. 50-50. You want 50-50, boy. 50-50. You want 50-50. If you want 50-50, boy, right, so you can get a man 60,000. Yep, yeah, man's make 60,000 and 50,000. That's a hundred thousand dollars a year. When a good to go. But women like these do not intend to work. That is really the crux of the matter. They want to be kept with me. Yeah, we showed we would have showed the we would have shown the video with uh Deshaun Watson fetting his woman. Right? Can she up the lavish shopping sprees? All the uh, Louis Vuitton and yacht, the yacht strips and the cruises and the boat and a moor and all kind of thing. That is what a lot of women want. Right? And let me be let me be fair. They never wrong with that. They never wrong they with that. They're wrong. You as a woman wanting to um fall into it, to the, a more feminine gender role. <laughs> and just, you know, take care of children and not go out, go there and go to the mines and do no work. We get it. They're not wrong with that. But when you come in, these kind of expectations. I just say what you want. Cause it, it just it's just really confusing place. Where you come around the place, Tom, but one or you want partnership at 50-50, but then you make it 50,000 and one man make it 250 million. But listen, here's my thing though, there. I will add to I will add to that too. They're not wrong with what you want. Don't be vexed when nobody is measuring up to your standards. Don't be vexed and so many ain't ready. Don't be vexed and so many ain't shit. Don't be vexed that you did him marking value that you have set. If I yeah. sell my car, my car, I bought my car in 2012. Car is 10 years old, 11 years old. If I come and say, I want new brand prices for it. I want market value for it as a brand new car today. Right? You would keep it. I would keep it. <laughs> keep I, it. Would, I would keep it. Nobody is buying it. Right? I could want what I want for it. I could see the value in it because at some point, here's the funny thing about value, right? We can all set our value in whatever marketplace, whatever space we want. We can set our value and that is fine. There is some, deg- to some degree, you set your value, things that you are worth or, 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 you know, whether you're an entrepreneur, your time, energy, resources, relationship time, your value, right? The years you put in a relationship, there's a value you can set for yourself, huh? But let's not fool our foot. There is such a thing as overvaluing yourself as an individual in any space. Market will determine your the volume. volume. The mar- so when I could come with this, all this dipsy do the thought and say, oh, you can't determine my value as a human being, as a woman, as this and that, the next, the third. You was 37 with two children. You got a toddler and you're looking for Drake. And you expect Drake to look, look through all the forest of ass and choose you. Yeah. All the women that are unencumbered who are significantly younger, et cetera, and just choose you. And, and then, like your, your car analogy, right, Neil? There is a man at my church, well, but I still don't know, who had a car. He tried to do exactly what you described with his car. He tried to sell his car at market value. And a man off, he's a man. He said, no, 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 it's worth more than that because the car was worth more than that. To he. To him. Well, eventually he had to call the SSA to come for his car. Uh-huh. <laughs> you probably. Bring that, man. I guess what? He went from getting a little bit of something to getting nothing. As a matter of fact, you actually had to pay. Because you got to pay money now. Pay to, to get SSA to, to, yep, to move it. So you yep. actually had to out money to get the return. You know what I mean? So I, I really like that car analogy. I don't feel we need to go much further with uh, Zarina here and here because, you know, it is what it are. It is what it are. Um, yeah. The only thing I would Another say... Another lady here so trying to, 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 you know... I don't even know what she's trying to do here. Did she do to the people? I just want... I just want women to understand something, right? Sure, you can stand up in your value, your worth. You can stand up in your truth. You can stand up in whatever construct you decide in your mind that you are worth. And that is fine. But just understand that there is something called reality. And at the end of the day, in this reality, your value may be overpriced for what you want. Your asking price may be too much. It's so bad. It's so bad. Nobody don't want to hear. Nobody wants to hear that they are not worth uh, 
But they think they are. Right. I would be foolish to think that I have what it takes to maintain a relationship with someone like Eva Mendez. I know he's met my jokes or whatever, whatever, right? But I would be foolish to think that I, my worth is equivalent to Ryan Gosling. Right? Yeah. I'm not talking as a human being. I want to be very, very clear because my life is no better than or worse than his. But we are talking about as a partner. And this is the thing that's got me in you know, a lot. Whenever we get in these conversations, there's semantics and there's equivocation and a bit of shaming language to make you back down from your point. When we talk about relationships, we are talking about the dating market, market value. Your value as a partner, as a wife or potential girlfriend, baby mother. Well, well, let me start. Let me start at the girlfriend part because right, you're right. talking about getting into a relationship. So you're talking right. about dating market value. Do, right. do, do, are you? Do you have enough for me to want to date you? Essentially? Exactly. Right. So I understand y'all just kind of bring back in the humanity of it all. You trying to set my value as a person. You try to tell me what I am worth. No, no, no. We're not talking about your life. No, we are not talking about your life. Your life is your life. Nobody deserves life. Or, or, or deserve your life is your life. Everybody's life is worth something. That's not what we are saying. My life worth the same as Derek life worth the same as Eva Mendes life worth the same as Jay Z life worth the same as everybody life. You understand? If I die, if Jay Z die, I got people that will miss me. The only difference between me and Jay Z is because of the things he did on this earth, he would be all over TMZ and CNN and whatever. I would be mourned by my friends and family, right? But if we are talking about dating market value, Think about it like this. Drake is the price. Okay, you want a drink. That's the standard. Drake or better, right? That's the lower bar. That's the lower. <laughs> <laughs> Drake is the entry level to what you want, right? A man like Drake. So now you've set that standard. You've set that price. You've set that thing that you want, that you think you deserve. Right? Tell me how. Me Tell me how you are going to compete for that price. There's no point. Please always think this whole notion of men is, I mean, sorry, women is the price and I am the table and all of this and all of this and all of this. It is a competition whether you like to believe it or not. We ain't talking about me and Derek, even though there is some level of competition or average men, I'll get to you. Yeah, yeah, there will be. Always there will be. be. Always will be for, for perceived good men. Men that are of value, right? I'm just letting you all know, you coming out of Drake, what you doing to compete? Sweet girl, you're 37. You are 37 with two children. Suppose Drake see one other child. That is. That Supp is. Suppose Drake see one other children, another child. Oh, but that guy, she, she, would, she would be willing. She'd be willing. Then the point is she willing. She's 37. We know the risk as you get older. The thing. Suppose Drake say, Drake ain't ready for children now. But Drake come up 40 and say, or the next five years and say, I, I, I think, Little Adonis need a, a brother or a sister. She, she, is going to, she is going to make that happen. She, she's going to try. She's going to give a, it the a, old college a, try. A, a, she's going to make surrogate. a valiant effort. But the point is... There was is, a lady a couple of weeks ago, right, Neil? Uh, there was a lady a couple of weeks ago who got on TikTok or whatever it was to say that she went by Drake's house and Drake wanted to have a baby, etc. And she said, you know, that she essentially... Let she let Drake do the thing. He then later came I refuted it and said he don't even know a woman, etc. But it shows you, right? The things women will say, one, the uh, clout. I mean, I say women, because men is doing it. Too. People, so yeah, people, 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 yeah. people, everybody guilty of that. Yeah, mm -hmm. things people will say in an effort to get clout. But we know that if she had gone to Drake's place, that she will be willing to do whatever. To get a, a ch shoot, ma, we got a video for that there. She would be willing to do whatever to get in Drake's um <laughs> to kill. Let's say to bear Drake's seed, to carry Drake's seed, um, shoot. And the turkey based incident with the hot sauce mm. that is evidence of that fact. Further evidence of that fact. Some women are willing to do what is required. To security ensure, bike. to get the man. Yeah, I was trying to say dedicately, but nah, yeah, man, did, did, security did. bike. Yeah, because the security bike. Let me hear. We got a video here. We put that in there. So from um, 
The girl just burly things. Ah, uh, yes. The problem we're having is it incentivizes women to get kids off of rich guys. So, for example, the NBA has issued statements telling players to flush their condoms because girls will steal them. Because they know if they get a kid off of them, they, they're entitled to child support for 18 years. Can you imagine living a life where you have to flush your condoms to ensure somebody don't try to okie do you? Yeah. Pretty if much. Let's say Derek we become rich and famous, right? Let's say through whatever efforts we become successful men, we make him money, bank, we are well known, we are renowned, etc. Right? I can't imagine getting out there and just having relations with me just so. You can't. I can't. You can't. I can't. I gotta worry about switch cheese Discipline condoms. Is is required, man. Yeah. I gotta worry about random holes and condoms. Well, no, sudden holes in condoms. I got to worry about, you know, I got to worry about, like, to me, that ain't living. Because, as no. a, especially for younger men, shoot, we are men now, we are, we are seasoned men. And these men are looking for action, especially if we got a little change, right? A little clout, shoot. You know, we got a different level of... Yeah, holler at your boy. You know, <laughs> shoot, right? But how, how you expect... That's why I say, right? I understand the whole dipsy doodle and the equivocation of things and trying to bring sympathy, shame, and language to the argument and the discussion to make it seem like women are being altruistic and genuine with what they want, right? But when you have things, that's why I tell you in this reality, this is by no means a utopia in this reality, but it is reality. And we live in a reality where if you are a famous man, you want to get little action, you have to you got money. Money. You famous. You just got, got money. Pass. You got a double bike or you got four go. You got to be celibate. Right? So you want Drake. You want somebody on that level. Let's take Drake out of it. You want my six figures. You want my look good, etc. Still a competition. She might, it might not be the same level of competition as Drake because Drake is famous. Right? But there will be a level of competition. And I can tell you with thir at 37, with two children, I don't care how good you look. You ain't it. You, I don't even think you need top five. You ain't even top running. ten. You ain't even running. You ain't even running. But nobody, as a matter of fact, right? I venture to you, this could sound bad, but take it or leave it. But men that me, like me and Derek, average men that was working a nine to five. She ain't in top ten for none of men. Uh, probably, probably even more so for us because we cannot afford to take on children that are not ours. We just, we simply can't. We cannot. So, we already got you on, so we can't we can't take on the others, you know. Be so you so, and, and then again too with the the rise of male center content, more and more men getting the memo look left foot back in the situation because very often it's not a love situation; it's a situation where you want help, right? So a man is like, you know what? Uh, it's not necessarily it. the best investment for me, but folks, shoot, this has been. It's another Senate session, and um, we hope you enjoyed this one. Give it a watch. Let us know what you think about this one down in the comment section. Hit the like button, hit the um, share button as well. Comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell to ensure you don't miss any more of the content we got coming for you. We can see you guys again soon. The contaminated environment. Any two tools about that?